let's start on our feet today. We'll give our little ankles and toes some movement and some stretching. And then we'll just open up our toes really, really wide so that when we glance down, we can see the color of our mat in between each little piggy, pressing down into those toes, into the heels, and then lift up in those arches just a little bit. And then begin to grow from there, pressing into the floor with our feet, lifting from the calves, the ankles, we soften those knees, activate the thighs, our glutes, we breathe all the way down into our bellies, pull the shoulders back and down, reaching down towards the earth with our fingers, lifting from the top of our head and finding our mountain pose. Mountains are strong and sturdy. Take this moment to check in with how we are feeling right now and continue to check throughout our practice, making sure that we are listening to what our body is telling us so that we can give it what it needs. And one more deep inhale through our nose. Exhale from our mouths, and then we'll seal our lips. Inhaling and exhaling from our nose. Inhale, let's lift those hands up high. And then exhale, little tiny back bend, just a hint of a back bend here. So bringing those hands back, hips forward. And then inhale back up, soften the knees. And as we exhale, we'll just let ourselves melt down into a forward fold. Deepening the bend in those knees, we'll round as we roll our way up. all the way up with those hands and then exhale again little back bend inhale up and then exhale we'll just melt down again Deepening the bend in those knees, rolling our way up, inhaling high, and then exhale. Let's bring those hands to our hearts, pulling the shoulders back, lifting the heart. Good, strong core, legs, connection with our mats. We'll take that left foot, we'll step back, opening our feet wide, pointing our toes to the corners of the room. Elbows come to our ribs, and then inhale, lifting high. Exhale, sitting down into that squat. Elbows come down to our ribs, moon flowers. Inhale, lifting up, and exhale, lowering down. Inhaling up, gentle movement. Getting those joints lubed up as we breathe and move with purpose. 
Good. Inhale. Let's lift up high. Exhale. Big circles with our arms. Sitting down into that squat. Hinging at the hips. Let's find those sunflowers. And inhale. Lift. And exhale. Sit. And then hinge. Let's do two more. Lifting high. And exhale, lowering down. Inhaling up. And exhale, sit, lowering and sitting. Good. Let's inhale nice and high. Star pose, opening the fingers, pulling those shoulders back. Good, and now let's sit down into that low squat. Palms point up to the sky. Elbows come to our ribs for goddess pose here. Good, and now let's tilt over to the right, reaching over our head with that left hand. And then back to our goddess. And then over to the left. And then back to our goddess. Let's do that one more time each side. Over to the right. And back to the center. Last one. Over to the left. And then goddess pose. One more breath here. Let's sink down into that squat. Whew. And now let's bring those hands to our hearts, point our right toes to the front of our mat, stepping forward, inhale, lifting high. Good, exhale, little back bend, cactus arms. Inhaling up, let's bring those knees together, big circles with the arms, let's sit down into our chair. And then inhale, we lift high. Again, big circles with those arms as we flow from our chair, lowering down on our exhales, lifting high on the inhales, exhaling down, inhaling up, feel that core begin to warm, exhaling down, inhaling up, and now let's sit down into that chair. We'll hold our chair. Let's bring the arms back behind us, looking forward. Good, arms come back up in front. And then inhale, nice and high. Again, little back bend, exhale, cactus arms if we would like, or we can keep those hands up above us, whatever feels the best. Good, inhaling up, and then softening those knees, let's swan dive down to a forward fold. Good. Let's come to a half lift, looking forward, pulling the shoulders back, nice flat back here, lengthening in the legs. And then exhale, let's fold maybe a little deeper. And one more time, inhale to our flat back. And then exhale, we fold. 
bending those knees, hands find our mats right in front of our feet. Let's step back for downward facing dog, pedaling the knees, pressing those heels down, waggling the tail. And then once we've got those wiggles out, pressing into the hands, pulling the shoulders away from the wrists, away from the ears, lifting our butt up toward the sky. Slight bend in our knees as we lengthen in that spine. And then we can begin to gradually press those heels in toward our mat. Good, let's inhale into a plank. Plank can be on our toes or on our knees. Exhale, we'll lower down. Hands are underneath of our shoulders here. As we inhale, let's scoop the chest forward and then up into a cobra pose. We'll tuck those toes, press into the hands and pull those hips back for downward facing dog. Good, let's lift up that right leg. Good, let's bring the knee into our chest. We'll hover in plank for just a little bit and then press back three-legged dog. Good, and then again, bringing that knee into our chest, hovering in plank. Let's take that right leg and kick it out toward the left. And then coming on back, three-legged dog. One more time, knee comes into our chest, taking that leg all the way out to the left here to this funky twisted plank. Now let's lift up our left hand, opening up into a little funky side planky. I think that's a technical term. And then lowering that left hand back down, stepping back, three-legged dog. Good. Taking that right foot, stepping forward in between our hands into a little lunge here. Good, and now let's lift up the right hand this time. Good, as we exhale, let's lower that right hand, bending the elbow as if we want to touch the elbow down toward the ground, or maybe even to that left elbow, just a little twist, and then inhale back up to the sky. Exhale, lowering it down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down, inhaling up. One more time, exhaling, uh, elbow comes down. And then let's bring that hand back down to our mat right here. Let's lower the left knee down for a half lunge. Inhale, high half lunge, little crescent here. Hips coming forward, chests are lifting high, arms come back, chin is lifted. Exhale, hands come back down. Let's tuck that left toe, step back, downward facing dog. Pedal the knees if we need, lengthen and lift. Inhale, let's come to a plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, a little cobra here. And then tucking the toes, pressing into those hands, lifting the hips for downward facing dog. Let's lift up that left leg. Three-legged dog here. Good, bring that knee into our chest, hovering forward into a plank, and then pressing back, three-legged dog. 
bringing that knee into our chest, hovering plank for a brief moment, and then taking that left leg out to the right. Good, stepping all the way back, three-legged dog. Let's bring that knee into the chest one more time, hover and plank, kick that leg out to the right. And now let's lift up the right hand. And back down, stepping back, three-legged dog. And now let's take that left foot, stepping all the way forward into a lunge here. Right hand will stay on the ground this time. Left hand comes up to the sky, opening up the shoulders, sinking those hips down. And then with our breath, let's just lower that arm down as if we want to touch with the elbow. And then inhale back up, exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling up. Good, one more time, exhaling down. And now let's place that left hand back down onto our mat. We'll lower the right knee down, soften the foot, inhale to our crescent lunge. Good, exhale, hands come back down, tucking that right toe, and we'll step back downward facing dog. Inhaling forward to a plank. Exhale, we'll lower down. Inhale, we can do cobra, or if we would like, we can come up to upward facing dog. Let's tuck those toes, lift the hips, press into those hands, and our feet for downward facing dog. Looking forward, just past our fingers, bending the knees. We can step or hop up to the top of our mat into a forward fold. Drop the head, let it just hang. Shoulders are soft. Good. And then inhale to our flat back. Long legs, exhale, folding forward. Good, inhale again, flat back. Exhaling, folding. Now let's bend those knees, rounding as we rise up to the top, nice and slow. Good, exhale, hands come down to our sides, mountain pose here. Inhale, lifting those hands up high. Exhale, little back bend. Inhaling up. Exhale, let's sit down into that chair. It's strong chair here. Let's bring those arms back behind us, Eddie the Eagle, lifting the heart, sitting the butt down low, keeping this low back though, good and flat and strong. Good, hands come up high. Inhale, all the way up to the sky. Good, let's bring those hands together at our hearts, pressing very, very, firmly into those palms, pulling the shoulders back. Inhale, let's lift up the left leg. And then exhale, big step back for a high lunge. Good, 
inhale, hands come up high. And then as we exhale, we'll turn to the right. And then inhale back to the center, sink down into that lunge, lift the heart, R good strong core, and then open up warrior two, lowering that left heel down to the mat, sinking into the lunge, arms are reaching out in opposite directions, shoulders are relaxing, we're lifting from the pelvic floor, thighs are working away from each other, chest is lifting, head is lifting, Hips are sinking, lots of things happening in opposite directions. Good, inhale, reverse warrior, right hand comes up, left hand goes down. Good, and then back to our side angle, very similarly to what we were just doing in our goddess squat. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Good, inhale, reverse warrior. And now let's just cartwheel those hands down to our mats, find ourselves in a lunge here. And we'll step all the way back, three-legged dog. Good, let's kick ourselves in the bum here with that right leg. We'll turn our hips toward the right, lifting the knee up toward the sky. And then back to our three-legged dog in the center. Good. And now we can replace that leg back down to the mat, or we can just come forward into a three-legged plank. Exhale, lower down. We can replace that leg, find its partner. Inhale, cobra or upward-facing dog. Tucking the toes, lifting the hips, downward-facing dog. And let's lift up that right leg. We'll step forward in between those hands. And then inhale, let's lift that left leg up back behind us for a three point balance. And we'll slowly just lower the left foot down by the right, release ourselves into a forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale again, half lift. Exhale, we fold. Rolling our way up as, our, as we inhale all the way up to the sky. Exhale, little back bend. Inhaling up. And then exhale, let's bring those knees and thighs together, sitting down into our chair. Good. And then Eddie the Eagle, arms come back, chests come up. Now from here, if we would like, we can even lift those heels. Hands come out in front of us. And then inhale, lowering the heels. Hands come up to the sky. Good, bringing those palms together at our hearts, pulling the shoulders back. All of the weight goes onto our left foot as we lift the right. Little tiny balance here, seeing how we're feeling, and then Stepping all the way back into a high lunge. Good, hands come up high as we inhale, and then exhale, turning to the left.
Our right hand is out in front, left hand goes back. Good, inhaling up to the center, sinking down into that lunge. When we're ready, lowering that right heel down to the mat, opening ourselves up, warrior two. Let's inhale, reverse warrior, left hand comes up, right hand goes down. And then exhale, down to our side angle. Right hand reaches up over our head. Left arm can rest on the thigh. Good, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Good, one more time, side angle. All the way up to our reverse warrior one more time. And then let's cartwheel those hands down to our lunge. Step back, three-legged dog, reaching that heel all the way back behind us. Good, let's inhale forward. We can do just a regular plank, plank on our knees, or we can do a three-legged plank. Exhale, three-legged chaturanga or regular. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Let's tuck those toes. Press back, downward facing dog. And lifting up that left foot again, three-legged dog. Let's kick ourselves in the bum and open our hips up toward the left, lifting the knee up toward the sky. Good, and then slowly back to our three-legged dog. And then stepping forward in between our hands for a lunge. All of the weight is gonna go onto this left foot as we lift the right foot back behind us, three-point bounce. And then we can just place that right foot by its partner and release ourselves into a fold here. Let's deeply bend those knees, tuck the chin, slowly we'll roll our way up. and find ourselves in Tadasana, in mountain pose, pulling the shoulders back, lifting the heart. The chin should be the last thing that comes up. Let's inhale those hands up high. Good. Reaching high with the fingers, pressing in to all four corners of our feet. And now exhale. Let's take that uh, right hand back behind us. Left hand will come forward, but we're going to try and keep our hips facing toward the top of our mat. Little twist here, much like we did in our lunge. And then all the way up to the top with those hands, doing our best, keeping the hips pointing forward. We'll twist to the left. And then back up to the sky with those hands. Good. And now exhale, let's fold forward. Inhale to a flat back. 
Lengthen in the back of those legs. Exhale, folding forward. Good, let's step back to our downward facing dog. Now let's walk our hands backwards towards our feet and find our forward fold again. Slowly we'll roll our way up, bringing our hands together at our hearts, pressing into the palms. And now let's lift up that right knee. Oops. Lift up the right leg and not fall down this time. Good. And now let's step forward with that right foot. Shift the weight into the right foot as we lift up the left leg for warrior three. Soften that right knee. We'll keep that left leg extended as we step all the way back into a high lunge. And then open up again, warrior two. Good. Let's lengthen in that right leg. Shift the hips back behind us, reaching forward setting ourselves up for triangle. The more we pull the hips back behind us and the more we reach forward with our fingers in front of us, we'll get a really good length in those ribs, in the legs, and then we'll drop that right hand, lift up the left, open the shoulders. Good, softening that right knee again, back to our warrior two. Now let's see if we can find that balance today. We haven't done this one in a while. We're going to shift the weight onto that right foot as we reach, much like we did in triangle. Keep reaching with that right hand until all the weight goes into the right foot. Left leg is pressing back behind us, and then we'll slowly lower that right hand down. Left hand comes up for half moon. Good. We'll lower this left hand. Down by our right, we'll lower the left foot down and we'll step back downward facing dog. Give it a little pedal. And then we'll slowly walk those hands back towards our feet into that forward fold again. Inhale to our flat back. Exhale, we'll fold. And then we'll roll our way up. Hands come to our hearts. Press into those palms, press into that right foot as we lift up the left. Good, and then with that left foot, we'll just take a step forward. Shifting forward, continuing to shift into that left foot so that we can lift up the right four, warrior three. Good. 
We move as slowly as we need to do to have our control and our balance. Good. And then we'll gently lower that right foot back down. Find ourselves in a high lunge. Hands can come up high. And now let's open ourselves up for warrior two. Sinking down into the lunge, lifting the heart. And now triangle pose, lengthening in that left leg, shifting the hips back behind us, reaching forward. We're kind of feeling a bit of a theme here with all of these poses this series. And then we drop the arm, lift the other, stack the shoulders, strong hips. Lots of space in between all of our ribs. Good, and we'll slowly come back to our warrior two. Let's continue on with our theme. So we'll begin to shift as we reach forward with those left fingers. Shifting the weight into the left foot so that we can lift up the right. Begin to stack the hips, stack the shoulders, lower those left fingers down toward the mat. And then we'll gently lower that right hand down to our mat. We can let that right foot find its partner in the center of our mat. Forward fold here. And then let's open up our feet a little bit wider than our hips. We'll find the spot, it's very personal. Toes will point out to the corners. And we'll slowly lower ourselves down into a Malasana squat. Lower those hips down, lift the heart. Keep that back nice and straight behind us. Good. And then from here, we'll just lower our hands down to the mat, walk them forward so that the knees can find a spot. We'll soften the feet and just come all the way down into a child's pose, which is very similar to our Malasana squat. We just look like we fell over. In essence, we did. Let's swish our legs over to the right. We'll sit our butt down. We'll keep this left leg tucked in and then the right leg will come all the way out and we'll find ourselves in Janu Shasana. Give ourselves a wiggle, find those sitting bones. Good. And then from here, we'll turn toward that right leg. Hands can go on either side and we'll just exhale into a little fold here. Creepy crawl those fingers forward. Allow the chest to come forward toward the toes. And now we'll take this left hand and we can touch the outside of the calf or maybe we can get that pinky toe on the foot. And then the right hand will reach back behind us, either reach out into space or find a piece of floor back behind our butt. And begin to peek 
around that right shoulder into a twisted fold. And slowly we'll come back to the center and then we'll help ourselves up. And now let's take this left foot and we'll cross it over the right knee. From here, hands can go behind us if we would like. And we'll bend that right knee, place the foot on our mats. And we'll use those hands to keep our back straight and our chest moving in towards this ankle knee configuration. Good. And now from here, we'll just continue the cross. We'll move that left leg so that our knees are crisscrossed. And then our feet will go in opposite directions. Our left foot will go right. Our right foot will go left. We're happy here, we stay here. If we would like, we can bring those hands forward into a little fold. And then slowly we'll come back up from our fold. We gently unwind those legs and even give them a little bit of a windshield wiper. And then when we're ready, we'll tuck that right foot in toward that left. Thigh, left leg is out long for Janu Shashasana on this side. Sitting bones are pressing into our mats. Hands are on either side of that left leg as we slowly fold forward. Using our breaths to lengthen and then Deepen. And then let's take that right hand. We can touch the outside of the ankle or the calf. We'll find that pinky toe side of the foot. And then the left hand can either reach back behind or find a spot behind our keister for a twisted fold. Beautiful, releasing back to the center. 
helping ourselves up. We'll cross that right foot over the left knee. Place that left foot back on two our mats for a figure four. And then let's take those legs, cross them a little bit deeper, knee to knee. And then we'll set those feet down in opposite directions for Gomakasana. Thinking about this, the hip that's on the top legged side. So our right hip is moving down toward the mat. If it doesn't hit the mat, fine. We're just working our way in that general direction. Take a breath or two. Get used to where we're at. And then we can make the decision whether we want to fold forward or not. Then we'll come back up. We'll untangle those legs. Give them a little bit of shake or a shimmy. And then when we're ready, we'll bring those knees into our chest. We'll roll onto our backs. Find our little egg. And then let's lift those legs up toward the sky, flexing the feet and rest our shoulders and our head onto our mat for waterfall pose. Hands can just barely touch behind the legs. We're not even encouraging them. We're just keeping them up here this time. And now let's reach those fingers up. We can wiggle our fingers and our toes, move around in the ankles and in the wrists. Rid of all the pops and the crackles. And then one more inhale, reaching high and pressing. And then exhale, slowly we'll lower ourselves down. Into a big morning stretch, reaching our fingers above our head, caressing those legs below us, making ourselves as long as we can. And one final purposeful exhale. Just let everything go. We find a comfortable position for our Shavasana. We close our eyes. We just let our body have this time to relax and to heal.
All we have to do is be. When it is time, we deepen our breath. We slowly bring awareness back into our bodies. When we're ready, we'll bring our knees in toward our chest. We'll roll over onto our side. We'll help ourselves up to seated. Making another check-in with our body to see how we're feeling. Checking in with our mental self to see how it's feeling. And we'll bring our hands together at our hearts to say thank you for all of the gifts that we just gave us. And 
I have to say thank you to you for joining me today, for allowing me to help you through your practice. I wish you all a very, very happy day filled with sunshine and joy. The light and the divine in me recognizes and respects the light and the divine in each of you. And when we are together, whether physically or virtually, we are one. Namaste.